As we've been covering the election, we have made a real commitment to getting out all across the state and talking to people. We want to connect what's happening at the State House to what's happening in people's lives. It's important for our readers to have data they can trust from us because we are here rooted in the community. We play a particularly important role when it comes to American elections, providing the public with fact-based, nonpartisan information so that when they go to the ballot box, they have all the information they need to make their decision. The Associated Press, the Google News Initiative, and the Institute for Nonprofit News have partnered to make 2024 election data widely available to newsrooms in state and local communities around the country. One of the great things about this partnership is that we all come at it from the same place. We want to make sure that high quality information is getting into the hands of news organizations and the communities that they reach. Small nonprofit newsrooms don't always have the tools and sometimes they don't have the staff for their ambitious goals. For journalists, elections are sort of the biggest day of the year. And on those days, it's really important to have accurate information that you can provide to people quickly. So being able to have high quality results that are free to use through the partnership has just been invaluable. And it's something that we could never do on our own. To have the AP elections dashboard and those graphics already pulled together ahead of time, auto-updating through the night and serve as a backbone to the posts that we were creating for our readers enabled us to do what we do best, and that is to get our journalists out locally in our region and have the conversations that they need to have. The election results and the visualizations were one of the most read things that we have done this year. And we heard from a number of readers that our results were easier to use. They could go in and see what was happening in each district. And that user interface was just really accessible. If you don't have local newsrooms, then you don't have informed communities. And there is so much that is happening in state and local communities that is so relevant to people's lives. The future is partnerships. The Institute for Nonprofit News, the Associated Press, and the Google News Initiative. We all have a shared vision around providing quality journalism and factual information to the public. By offering resources like this to lean newsrooms like ours, it's allowing us to listen and to investigate and to tell stories that will better the areas that we live in and that we are dedicated to. We're able to provide people with information to further their understanding of the world and to hopefully improve our state.